Exodus 2019, Module 5, Part 8. In this segment, we are going to be creating a crosstab wizard, or excuse me, a crosstab query using our wizard. And then we're going to go in and modify some of the column headings and make a few changes to it to make it look nicer. We are going to be creating a wizard or a query that will look similar to this. So it's going to have the cities in the rows. We're going to be summarizing the total invoice amounts and we want to see whether they're paid or unpaid. And so our wizard is going to allow us to create something that looks like this. So let's get into our clinic database and we're going to start the query wizard. So we're going to go to create query wizard. I recommend that you memorize these four terms unless you are asked specifically to use these four wizards you will always start your queries with query design so if you can remember these four names it will help you know where to start those queries we're going to start this one with a query cross tab query wizard now one rule of thumb that you should remember with your wizards is never click finish if next is still an option. Even though finish may pop up as an option also, if next is still an option, there are more questions to answer. And especially on your SAM exam, if you don't correct the information on each screen, you're going to miss the question. So if you've missed something and you get to a later question and it asks you, you know, to change the name, for example, but you've already clicked finish, it's marked wrong. So always click next if next is an option. Now on this first screen, it's asking us what we want to use to start our query. We can use tables, queries, or both. We're going to use a query. We're going to locate the query called patients and invoices and then we're going to choose next this screen is asking us what goes in the rows you can have up to three fields we will only be using one so we're going to choose city and then we'll choose next Then it wants to know what is in the columns, and we're wanting to know whether the invoices are paid or not, so that's going to go in our columns. And then finally it wants to know what field are we going to be using a function on in the column intersection. We're going to sum the invoice amounts. So it's going to show us how much is paid, how much is unpaid, and then if we leave this checked, it will give us a row total as well. And since we want to see the total, we're going to go ahead and leave that checked. We're not going to change the name. And since next is no longer an option, we can click finish. And it creates our query for us. So the first thing I would do is refit my cities and then also this total of, of the invoice amount column. All right, so right now it says minus one and zero, which doesn't really tell us anything. And what we need it to tell us is if which one is paid and which one is unpaid. So we're going to go into our design view so we can modify what was created by our wizard. I do want you to notice the wizard saved the query and the cross tab query has a slightly different picture than all of the other queries we've been doing. We're going to go to the home tab and then go back into our design view. So we're going to make some changes. The first one is we are going to tell it that we want to use this invoice paid field in an if statement. So if we click in front of the invoice paid and we go IIF and open our parentheses, 
we can say if it is paid, since it's a yes or no field, if the answer is yes, in quotes put paid as my column heading. If it's not yes, I'm going to quote put unpaid. Now if I click run, you'll see that it changed those column headings. Let's say we decided we wanted to change where it says total of invoice amount. And we just wanted it to read total invoices. So let's go back to design view. So there's two places we could put that. If we click on this field where it says total of invoice amount, we could go to the property sheet and enter a caption. So I'm going to say total invoices. Then I can close that, click run, and now you see it changed that column heading for us. The other place you could put it is you could put it here and change that text. The difference in how you know where to put it is if they tell you to change the field name, you have to put it here in front of the colon because that is the field name. If they tell you to enter a caption, you can put it on the property sheet where we had the caption. And if they don't specify where to put it, they just tell you to change the column heading, you can put it either place. But that shows you how you can change that column heading also. We're going to go ahead and save our changes to our crosstab query, and we're going to then close that. And that concludes this segment.